How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Data here, and welcome back to another NHL 23 career simulation. Today, going through the career of Pyotr Kochetkov, possibly the hottest rookie in the NHL right now. He was awarded NHL Rookie of the Month in December of 2022. He has been killing it with the Carolina Hurricanes. He has quickly emerged as a possible Calder finalist. 18 games played this season at time of recording. He is 10-4-4 with a 2.3 goals against average, 9-14 save percentage, and after after being drafted in the second round, 36th overall back in 2019, now at the age of 23, Carolina is finally ready to reap the benefits of the trade that they made back in 2018 when they traded away Jeff Skinner and acquired, among other pieces, this second round draft pick that became Pyotr Kochetkov. In the KHL, doing extremely well, he played one full season as a starter, 23 games, had a 2.23 goals against average, 926 save percentage. At the 2019 World Juniors, he was best best goaltender. He was a bronze medalist. In the AHL, he was a Calder Cup champion with the Chicago Wolves. And now in the NHL, he is proving his worth. Aside from him being so hot, another major reason why I wanted to do a Kachetkov career simulation was because in the most recent EA rosters on January 10th, 2023, he now has medium elite potential as he should have. And with Anderson and Ranta on expiring deals and Kachetkov with his four-year extension paying him $2 million per season, that will quickly become a very very valuable contract and Kachetkov should become the starter long term. Hopefully the Hurricanes and Kachetkov can come to a longer agreement but that's what the simulation is here for to see will he become a pillar in Carolina? Will he move on to maybe bigger and better things? Will he win Vezinas, Jennings, Stanley Cups, Conn Smites? That's for the simulation to decide. So as always we are watching as outsiders simulating as a different team letting the game do everything. So unfortunately goaltenders another reason why I've never done a goaltender in any career simulation is that sometimes teams can stockpile goalies while others only have all 70 overalls. So it's a bit of a risk, but we'll see how this simulation goes. Most recently we did Connor Bedard, Matty Beniers on NHL 23, but many more back all the way to NHL 20 if you want to check those out on the channel. But starting it off in 2022-23, Kachetkov is already 23 years of age, older than the usual career sims that start around 18-19. He's an 82 overall with medium elite potential, very solid attributes, four-star reflex Flexes, four star puck control, three and a half star athletic, high 80s for angles, breakaways, stick low, 85 rebound control, 86 speed and agility, very good attributes, and he should grow very quickly with that potential. But will he be allowed to breathe? How will the Hurricanes utilize him? That's what we'll find out in today's simulation. It may be a bit shorter than usual career simulations, as we won't be running through point totals and line mates and things like that, but still about 20 years of simulation. I love it so very much, that's why I do it, but it does take a long time. So if you enjoy it, be sure to leave a like. Please do leave a comment with your thoughts on the simulation, who you want to see next, and of course, subscribe so that you won't miss out on any others. Without further ado, let's hop into 2022-23 with Pyotr Kachetkov and see how the Carolina Hurricanes organization will utilize him in this first season of The Sim. Year number one, year number two technically of his North American career, but year number one of the simulation and Pyotr Kachetkov is starting with the Chicago Wolves. 82 overall, listed as a backup goaltender. In the preseason, he played in two games and had two wins and a shutout. So things are looking promising for the NHL, but they have Freddie Anderson, they have Antti Ranta, so he's going to have to bide his time in the AHL for a little bit, despite being an 82 overall with all those amazing attributes. This guy, Zach Sachenko, is backing him up at the moment, but I'm sure that he will get a massive massive lion's share of the starts. Let's see if that very high overall for the American Hockey League will be enough to carry the Chicago Wolves to the postseason and potentially another Calder Cup championship. In year number one, and what I would call Kachetkov's first season as a full-time starter in North America, the Chicago Wolves finished 12th best in the AHL with a record of 41, 28, and 3. Kachetkov's numbers weren't amazing, but I wouldn't say he had the best team to support him either. He played in 48 games, going 26, 19, and 2 with two shutouts, a 905 save percentage, and 2.77 goals against average. I'm still blown away by Kachetkov's real-world numbers, which will add into the stats at the end of the video. Only 15 games played with Chicago Wolves in 2021-22, but 13-1-1 was his record. 9-20 save percentage, 2.09 goals against average. Not quite as solid over an entire season, but again, take it with a grain of salt, as the team playing in front of him was not of the highest caliber. In the 2023 AHL postseason, the strength of the Wolves team was evident as they fell in six games to the Manitoba Moose, who fell to the Griffins, who fell to the Barracuda, who went on to win the Calder Cup. 
In the postseason, Kachetkov started all six games and went 2-4-0 and oh, with a shutout and a 9-15 save percentage, 2.59 goals against. So again, looks like it was more the strength of the team than anything. But after biding his time in the AHL, looks like Kachetkov will be moving up to the NHL next season with the expiring deals of Freddie Anderson and Antti Ranta. Still an 82 overall, but should see some solid growth over the offseason. I don't think his attributes have changed just yet, but I'm very excited to see how he'll look headed into year number two. Year number two and Pyotr Kachetkov is ready to take the reins here in Carolina as the full-time starter at an 86 overall at the start of 2023-24. Listed as a starting goalie with that medium league potential, 6'3", 205, four and a half star reflexes, four and a half star puck control, four star athletic, 91 on the angles, 90 on stick low, 89 breakaway, all those great attributes in the first year of his four year extension, paying him only 2 million per season. So hopefully the Hurricanes can utilize that cap space and not squander the next four years. Kachetkov is a full-time starter backed up by Yoel Blomqvist. So it's a young tandem here for the Hurricanes, a brand new one with Freddie Anderson and Antti Ranta now out. So with a strong team around him, I won't do this every season, but just look at the starting year. Teravainen, Aho, Shveshnikov, Slavin, Pesci, Shea, Orlov. A very strong team around. A young goaltender who's shown great flashes of brilliance. Can that team go on a run in 2023-24? In Kachetkov's first season as a full-time starter, he leads the Hurricanes to a top 10 finish in the league as Carolina finishes 10th with a record of 45, 31, and 6. Kachetkov was leaned upon heavily and put up respectable numbers as he appeared in 60 games and had a record of 29, 25, and 4 with one shutout, a 904 save percentage, and 2.83 goals against average. His backup towards the end of the year ended up being another great veteran, James Reimer, so he's had a little bit of support right there. But where Kachetkov lacked, the rest of the team picked up and it's a pretty solid rookie season all in all. Amongst the other rookie goaltenders in the NHL, Kachetkov did not have the most games played as Wallstedt had 68, but he did lead the rookie goaltenders in the NHL and wins with 29, whilst at 27, Uko Pekalukin with 18. Maybe not enough for the Calder Trophy as Connor Bedard had a 66 point season, but I would say that it's good enough for a Calder Memorial nomination. In the postseason, Kachetkov's lack of NHL postseason experience may have showed a little bit as the Hurricanes fell in six games to the experienced Washington Capitals, who would go on to lose to the Bruins, who won the 2024 Cup in a Stanley Cup rematch of the Vancouver Canucks, this time sweeping them in four games. And you know what? I said Kachetkov didn't have the experience, but through those six games, he was 1-3-1 and one with a 9.32 save percentage and 2.26 goals against average. So it looks like it was the forward group that didn't show up as no score, I think, had more than like five points. At the end of 2024, Kachetkov is still an 86 overall with three years left on his contract going into next season. The attributes still look great. Five-star reflexes, four-and-a-half puck control, four-star athletic, headed into what will be his second full season as a starter. I'm sure that he was happy to get this one under his belt. No Calder Trophy, maybe a nomination, and he's ready to move on with his career. Year number three, and Kachetkov has his rookie season under his belt, and now at the age of 25, is already an 88 overall, listed as a starting goaltender. Five-star reflexes, four-and-a-half puck control, and four-star athletic. 92 on the angles, 91 on the stick low, 89 rebound control, looking very solid, especially those reflexes, very important. Five stars already, great stuff. Being backed up by the legend himself, 36-year-old James Optimus Rhyme Rhymer. Kachetkov with three years left on his contract, paying him only $2 million per season. Again, this is a time for the Hurricanes to use their window. They re-signed Aho to a lengthy deal. Shveshnikov, Natchez at an 88, Jarvis 84. Five, Slavin 87. This is the time for the Hurricanes to go on a deep run and Kachetkov at an 88 may be their ticket there. Kachetkov's sophomore season as a starter was very impressive as in year number three the Hurricanes finished third best in the NHL and the Eastern Conference, a very strong Eastern Conference. 109 points with a record of 50-23-9. Kachetkov appeared in 65 games and had a record of 36, 20, and 6 with 4 shutouts, a 916 save percentage, and 2.55 goals against average. James Reimer was actually a monster as his backup, so a great tandem here in Carolina. Despite the strong regular season, the Hurricanes had an even worse postseason than last year, as in round number one, they fell in five games to the New York Rangers, who fell to the Senators, who fell to the Maple Leafs, who went on to win the 2025 Cup against the Arizona Coyotes of all teams. 
I don't usually look at the forwards, but I can't help but highlight this. I don't know what happened to them. Michael Rasmussen with two goals in five games led the team in scoring as Fowler, Dahan, Jarvis, Slavin had the other goals. Zero from Aho, zero from Nechas, zero from Shveshnikov. What a weird series that was. I guess Shosturkin just shut everyone down. But Kachetkov had great numbers going 1-4-0. and oh. His one win was a shutout victory, a 932 save percentage and 2.03 goals against average through those five games. So he was doing miracles, but somehow Shosturkin just did more and the Hurricanes couldn't get through him. After his second season as a starter in the NHL, Kachetkov is now up to an 89 overall and is listed as an elite goalie. After that solid postseason, I would imagine even better things are to come in his third season as a starter with five-star reflexes and four-and-a-half puck control and athletic. Wonderful attributes, two more years on his cheap extension. Let's see what Carolina can do in the offseason headed into 2025-26. Year number four, and Pyotr Kachetkov has entered the 90 overall territory. 90 overall at the age of 26 and listed as an elite goalie. Five-star reflexes and puck control with the four-and-a-half-star athletic. 93 stick low, 93 angles, 90 recovery, 90 rebound control. Wonderful attributes as always. His new backup now is David Riddick, so he will likely be getting a lot of the starts with his backup being 10 overall less than him. Probably another 65-plus appearance season for Kachetkov. Chetkov, who is in his prime and ready to carry this team to a deep postseason run. In year number four, the Hurricanes have another strong season as they win the Metropolitan Division with a seventh place finish in the NHL and a record of 43, 24, and 15. I wouldn't say that Kachetkov's record was especially impressive with only 29 wins through 60 games, but his record was 29, 17, and 10. A lot of unlucky overtime or shootout losses. Five shutouts, a 904 save percentage, and 2.78 goals against average for a solid enough season. In the postseason, the Hurricanes continued to struggle in the first round as they fell in five games to the Islanders, who proceeded to get swept out by the Blue Jackets, who eventually lost to the Tampa Bay Lightning, who went on to win the 2026 Cup. I don't know what's wrong with the Hurricanes in the postseason, but through five games, they had no player who scored more than one goal. They had a ton of one-goal scorers, but that's it. This is a crazy stat. You had the Tarasenko, who scored 40 on the year. He scored one. Aho had like 35 and 90 points. He had one goal, four points. Just very unlucky. And when the offense is not there, you can't always expect Kachetkov to carry. And this postseason, he did not. 1-4-0 and oh was his record. An 885 save percentage. That hurts. And a 3.01 goals against average. Some of the worst numbers of his career unfortunately so headed into the final year of that cheap four-year two million dollar extension he's down to an 88 overall hopefully he's going to rebound over the off season and the hurricanes really have to put together a solid team for 2026-27 before kachetkov may hit unrestricted free agency at the end of his contract Headed into year number five, Pyotr Kachetkov is an 88 overall where we left him off after a very difficult postseason. At the age of 27 in the final year of his contract, still five-star reflexes and puck controls, just some random various attributes going up and down. Still an elite goaltender on a very cheap contract that will increase most likely exponentially after this season. So we'll see if the Hurricanes can hang on to him. He's being backed up by Itu Makanyemi, the goaltender who came in the Brent Burns trade way back when. He's now 27 years of age and 79 overall the top six in Carolina is amazing we've seen the regular season success we just have to finally try and get that to translate to postseason success Another postseason berth for Kachekov and the Hurricanes in year number five as the Hurricanes finished 11th best in the NHL with a record of 45 31 and 6 Year number five saw Kachetkov hit new career highs for games played and wins as he had 37 through 69. His record was 37, 26, and 5 with four shutouts, but his numbers were some of his worst at a 905 save percentage and 3.04 goals against average. Now remember to always take these numbers with a grain of salt in EA land as Kachetkov's 37 wins were enough to put him third amongst all goalies in the NHL and the numbers amongst those other goaltenders weren't anything exponentially better than Kachetkov did. Obviously he lacked behind a little bit but the top goalies in the NHL in EA land are not putting up the same numbers as the top goalies in the real world. In the postseason, Kachetkov and the Hurricanes finally made it out of the first round after three consecutive first round exits, but they did fall in round number two to the Columbus Blue Jackets as they got swept out in four games by Columbus, who went on to lose to the Maple Leafs, who won the 2027 Cup. 
Kochetkov was back to his old self in the postseason, but it seems as though he got injured as he only played in seven games. Through those seven games, he had three wins and two shutouts, going 3 1 and 1, a 9.34 save percentage, and 2.61 goals against average. But it seems as though an injury forced Mack and Yemi between the pipes, and that's where they got swept out by Columbus. Very unfortunate, but Kachetkov showing more flashes of brilliance. He's been very good in the postseason. Let's try and get that translated into regular season success. He's still an 88 overall, headed into year number six with the five star reflexes and puck control. All those attributes are still good enough to put together a very solid season. But his original four-year extension has expired with three first round exits and one second round exit. So headed into unrestricted free agency in the 2027 offseason, will Kachetkov re-sign with the Hurricanes and decide to keep building on what's been happening here in Carolina or is he looking for a new challenge elsewhere? Year number six, and Kachetkov is staying put in Carolina as he and the Hurricanes come to an agreement over the 2027 offseason. A six-year contract paying him $7.41 million per season, a total of around $44.5 million to stay for six more years with the Hurricanes. I wouldn't be surprised if what convinced Pyotr Kachetkov to stay was a big free agent splash as the Hurricanes went out and got Quinn Hughes on a massive $16.5 million AAV deal, also for six years as well. He just came off like a 91-point season. In. Here in Carolina, the top six is strong. The depth, the fourth line struggles a little bit. But Kachetkov, he's getting paid. He's, you know, maybe it was the Scotty Pippen treatment. He wasn't getting paid. He was performing too well. He was a bit upset with management, but now he's getting his money. Let's see if the numbers, the statistics will follow suit. Kachetkov at an 88 overall, backed up by 78 overall Charlie Lindgren here in 2027-28. Attributes still looking great as we last left them off. After a second round exit last season, let's see if this season can be a further run. Year number six was a tough year as the Metropolitan Division was stacked and the Hurricanes with a winning record of 41, 37 and 4 finished 21st in the NHL to miss out on the postseason for the first time in Kachetkov's NHL career. Kachetkov's numbers did improve as he appeared in 70 games. He was a workhorse and he won 35 out of those games, going 35, 29, and 3. He had 5 shutouts, a 907 save percentage, and 2.79 goals against average. A good improvement on last year's 905 and 3.04 goals against especially, but still seemingly lacking that ability to carry the team when needed. Kachetkov at the end of 2028 is still an 88 overall at the age of 28. All the attributes still pretty much looking the same. I believe they stagnated. There might be one that goes from 87 to 86 or vice versa that I'm not catching but the main things angles stick low rebound control those have all been what they have been for a few years now so but we know that with the elite potential he can get up to 90 90 plus overall with solid performances it's just the team around him has to continue to be built and maybe the lack of depth is where the Hurricanes are struggling Year number seven, and Pyotr Kachetkov is still an 88 overall at the age of 29, now backed up by a 66 overall Stanley Irwin, as we're starting to see how the AI general manager cannot cope in the future years. Too much money going to Kachetkov, uh, how much Kreider is getting for 10.8 to Aho, 7.6 to Sveshnikov, he's definitely leaving next season. That $16.5 million to Quinn Hughes is just taking up way too much money, as there's a couple of 72 overalls on the defensive core here. It's going to be a rough few years for Kachetkov. And that's why if he doesn't carry, it doesn't seem like the team will go very far because of the salary cap trouble. But, you know, that's the risk that we took when doing this career simulation. The AI does not usually manage goaltending and salary caps very well. He is still an 88 overall with those attributes looking as good as ever. So hopefully a strong season will return Carolina to the postseason. In year number seven, somehow the Hurricanes pull it out and make the postseason with a 12th place finish in the NHL, going 43, 32, and 7, despite allowing an average of 3.15 goals against per game. Hard to blame Kachetkov for the team that was in front of him. Irwin, I don't know why he appeared in 30 games. It must have been due to injury. That's wild. As Kachetkov only appeared in 63, as opposed to, you know, last year's like 70. But does that mean Kachetkov's getting pulled very often if Irwin has 30 appearances? 30, 25, and 5 was Kachetkov's record with two shutouts, a 907 save percentage, and 2.89 goals against average headed into the postseason. In the postseason, the Hurricanes fall in five games in round number one once again, this time to the Washington Capitals, who went on to lose to the Maple Leafs, who lost the Buffalo Sabres, who won their second of back-to-back -back cups in 2029.
The team just didn't have the depth. I don't know what's with the simulation, but Aho had no goals and two assists in five games, while Stankoven at an 80 overall had five goals. I don't know why the game is out to get Carolina, but Kachetkov goes 1, 4, and 0 oh, with an 862 save percentage and 4.29 goals against average. Absolutely shameful. Headed into 2029-30, Kachetkov somehow maintains his 88 overall status. At this point, the simulation's a bit of a joke. Maybe he'll turn it around later in his career into his, you know, mid-30s or something. But at the moment, it's showing me why EA simulations with a goalie just are not usually worth the time. Attributes are still what they are, but doesn't seem to matter much in the simulation. Let's see what year number 8 has in store. All right, year number eight, and I gotta give it to the Hurricanes. The depth of the team has improved. They were able to re-sign Shveshnikov, which was a huge piece. They have 87s in the top six. They have an 84 on the third line. The second defensive pair is not 72 overall. So, you know, it's not, you know, the third pair is 30, 72 overalls. So still not a great team. The AI doesn't know what it's doing. But Kachetkov does have a slightly better cast in front of him headed into 2029-30. 88 overall at the age of 30. Attributes all the same as always. Four more years on his contract contract coming off of a very difficult year and his worst postseason yet so fingers crossed for year number eight somehow some way in year number eight the carolina hurricanes pull it out and win the president's trophy in 2030 best record in the nhl with 110 points and a record of 51 23 and 8 on the road to his first President's Trophy, Pyotr Kachetkov put up career highs in wins and shutouts as he went 40, 14, and 6 with 6 shutouts, but still a 901 save percentage and 2.9 goals against average. Seeing how the rest of the league is also hindered by EA's simulation system can kind of quell a lot of our frustrations, but you still hope that in a President's Trophy winning season that his numbers would be a little bit higher than below technically his career average. Kachetkov's 40 wins was also a single-season franchise record for the Hurricanes for most wins in a season. And in the 2030 postseason, after many first and second round heartbreaks, the Carolina Hurricanes take down the Florida Panthers in round 1 and 6, the Devils in round 2 and 6, the Maple Leafs in the Eastern Conference Final in 5, and after a 7-game thriller against the Winnipeg Jets, they capture their second Stanley Cup in franchise history, 2030 Stanley Cup champions. Kachetkov did what he had to do in the postseason as he went 15, 8, and 0 with two shutouts, had a 908 save percentage and 2.86 goals against average. Somehow Irwin had played 30, uh, I guess 59 minutes, I don't know what happened. He made 31 saves as a 71 overall, so more broken this year in EA land. But Kachetkov did what he had to do. No con Smythe for him as Quinn Hughes actually won it. He has four of the last five Norris trophies, a con Smythe now. Ended up being a great signing for the Hurricanes despite it costing so much. But quite a season here in 2029-30 as Kachetkov gets a pre President's Trophy, a Stanley Cup ring, and again, don't focus too much on the numbers, I suppose, here in EA land. Just look at the honors, 15 wins in the postseason, a couple of shutouts, getting his Stanley Cup ring in style. He is down to an 87 overall and still has three more years on his contract, but he can count himself as a Stanley Cup champion headed into year number nine, with the attributes changing a little bit, athletic down from four and a half to four stars, but he's still got the reflexes and the puck control to be considered an elite goaltender. Year number 9 and Pyotr Kachetkov is 31 years of age and an 87 overall, being backed up by 80 overall Vadim Jerenko, a 7th round pick of the Blues back in 2019. A little better support than a 71 overall, but who knows in EA land. Kachetkov is an 87, still has the 4-star athletic with the 5-star puck control and reflexes. I don't believe anything has really changed since his Stanley Cup winning postseason. He's headed into 2030-31 with a ring on his finger. The Hurricanes team as a whole is still quite strong after winning the President's Trophy and Stanley Cup a very rare feat. Quinn Hughes is still here on the same contract length as Kachetkov. So while the Hurricanes still have those core pieces signed on, the window is open. In year number nine, as defending President's Trophy and Stanley Cup champions, the Hurricanes slip a little bit in the standings, but still make the postseason with a 15th place finish in the NHL, going 41, 31, and 10. Kachetkov's numbers were above average as he went 36, 21, and 9 with 5 shutouts through 67 games, a 9-10 save percentage, and 2.75 goals against average. His backup was not as great, and I'm not sure why they're not giving him like 73 starts a season, but Kachetkov put up good league average numbers once again. Speaking of those league numbers, Kachetkov's 9-10 save percentage was good enough to tie him for 5th best amongst NHL goalies this season, and his 2.75 goals against average was 4th best. Goalies who have played at least 50 games, but still, again, going to show how the league average is not that high. 
In the 2031 postseason as defending Stanley Cup champions, the Hurricanes took down the Senators in seven, the Bruins in seven, but then fell in six in the Eastern Conference Final to the Capitals, who went on to lose in five to the Minnesota Wild for the 2031 Cup. Kachetkov consistent once again with what we've been seeing from him. 10, 8, and 2 was his record with one shutout, a 905 save percentage, and 2.73 goals against through those 20 games. Headed into year number 10, he's back up to an 88 overall. He'll be turning 32 years of age. Five star reflexes, five star puck control, and back to four and a half stars for athletic. He will have two years left on his $7.4 million extension. Same for Quinn Hughes with two years left on his deal. He scored like 23 points in 20 games this postseason. So, one Stanley Cup, one Eastern Conference Finals loss, two more years with this window. Let's see what year number 10 has in store. Year number 10 and Pyotr Kachetkov is an 88 overall at the age of 32, backed up by 82 overall Dan Vladar. So great to see some better support for Kachetkov, but we still want to make sure he's getting the lion's share of the Stars in Carolina. Still listed as an elite goalie with the five-star reflexes and puck control. Four and a half star athletic, two years left on his contract. The window still very much open here in Carolina. Last year, an Eastern Conference Finals loss. The year before, President's Trophy and a Stanley Cup. Let's see what Kachetkov, Aho, Shveshnikov and company can do in this 10th season. In year number 10, Kachetkov and the Hurricanes very fittingly finished 10th best in the NHL with a record of 44, 30, and 8. Kachetkov had a difficult season as he appeared in 67 games but went 34, 24, and 6. Once again, always these winning seasons but rough numbers. Four shutouts, that's great, but a 901 save percentage and 3.01 goals against average. Just the second time in his career that he allows over three goals per game on average. And in the postseason, it was more heartbreak as the Hurricanes fell in round number one to the New York Rangers in six games, who went on to lose to the Sabres in the Eastern Conference Final, who lost to the Ducks, who captured the 2032 Cup. Kachetkov had another rough postseason, but somehow he always gets these shutouts. He had one shutout in two wins, 2-3-1 two, and one was his record, an 887 save percentage, and a 3.67 goals against average. I don't know how you have those numbers when you also have a shutout in such a small sample size, but... Kachetkov with another rough postseason to head into the final year of his contract at an 87 overall. Now listed as a starting goalie, no longer an elite goalie. Five-star reflexes and four and a half puck control and athletic. So we'll see if that continues to go down over the 2032 offseason and how we're looking headed into year number 11. Year number 11, and this is really the last year of the window here in Carolina, in my opinion. Kachetkov had an 87 overall at the age of 33 on an expiring deal. The core is aging. Strom is 85. Aho's 87. Shveshnikov, he's 32. He's still got it. Jarvis as well, but the rest of the team has really changed in recent years. The forwards are doing okay. They'll be fine. But the defense, Quinn Hughes' contract will expire after this year. And if he doesn't re-sign, all the other defensemen are between 72 and 77. So that may get really ugly really fast. But Kachetkov is an 87 overall listed as a starting goalie still with his exact elite potential so that overall could go up with a solid season he's coming off of one of his worst statistically so that may be a little difficult but he's fighting for a contract here so in a contract season can he turn it around and help put the team on his back to get out of that first round rut Another year, another 10th place finish for the Carolina Hurricanes, as in 2032-33, they go 44, 32, and 6. Kachetkov once again having to do a lot on his own, as Vladar ended up getting traded, and this guy Novert, a 68 overall, was his backup for part of the year. But through 66 games, Kachetkov went 32, 27, and 5, with two shutouts, a 901 save percentage, and 2.91 goals against average, the lowest amount of wins that he got in a single season since 2028-29. In the postseason, Kachetkov and the Hurricanes suffered another first-round exit, the sixth of Kachetkov's career as a starter here in Carolina. They lost in seven games to the Canadians, who lost to the Bruins, who lost to the Devils, who went on to win the 2033 Cup. The Hurricanes are really going to miss Quinn Hughes if they don't re-sign him. He put up 14 points in seven games. My goodness. Kachetkov went 3-3-1. Three, three, and one. You know what? Had respectable numbers through seven games. A 909 save percentage and 2.84 goals against average. At the end of his contract at 33, going on 34 years of age, he is down to an 86 overall and listed as a starting goalie. I'm not sure if the Hurricanes have the money and maybe even if Kachetkov has the desire to re-sign here in Carolina. I'm not sure if he'd be looking for an exorbitant amount of money, but I think that he wants to try and capture another Stanley Cup before it's too late as yes he got that big cup of the Hurricanes back in 2030 but aside from that it's been a lot of first round heartbreak with Carolina and after being drafted back in 2019 is this the end in the 2033 offseason for Kachetkov and the Hurricanes 
In year number 12, Kachetkov says let's run it back at least one last time as at an 85 overall at 34 years of age, Kachetkov signs a one-year contract with the Hurricanes paying him $4.59 million. He's being backed up by 81 overall, Carol Vamelka. So very nice to have a real-world goaltender backing him up. No one generated. Aho also signing a one-year extension to come back for another season. Quinn Hughes moved on, but Johan Backstrom is now here in Carolina, an offensive defenseman who was a former 7th overall pick, was getting paid pretty much the same money as Quinn Hughes was. So massive contracts being handed out the defense overall is much stronger we have 81s and no longer 72s on the second unit so let's see what can happen here for the hurricanes as kachetkov is lower in overall but now surrounded by a much stronger team defensively four and a half star reflexes four and a half star puck control four star athletic the main things like angles at 92 stick low and five hole at 90 are still great glove high at 83 that's going down a bit low for my liking 81 poke check we still got the rebound control the recover and hopefully like i said with a strong team around him it'll be a good 2033-34 Oof, brutal season in year number 12 for the Hurricanes as they finish 19th in the NHL. The first team on the outside looking in as Toronto snagged the last spot with 91 points. The Hurricanes had 88 points of their own with a record of 41, 35, and 6. Kachetkov had what I believe was the worst season of his NHL career so far as he's had the same amount of wins before, 29. He's, that ties his career low. But when you add in the save percentage and the goals against average, it's a bit ugly. 29, 27, and 5 was his record. Three shutouts through 62 games as well. A 900 save percentage and 3.04 goals against average. Now at the age of 34, Kachetkov is an 85 overall, listed as a starting goalie with starter potential. Four and a half star reflexes and puck control with four star athletic and once again headed to unrestricted free agency the hurricanes had another solid 40 plus win season but no postseason this year for kachetkov and after 11 years with the franchise it may be time to move on so we'll see what the hurricanes want to do in the 2034 offseason in the 2034 offseason and headed into year number 13, after spending 11 years with the Carolina Hurricanes, Pyotr Kachetkov signs a one-year deal with the Calgary Flames, headed over to the Western Conference, one year, $3.57 million, at the age of 35 and at 84 overall. The Flames have themselves a team here in Calgary. This guy, Raquel, who's a 22-year-old, uh, 89 overall, Fantilli, first line, 90 overall centerman, Rector McGrory on the right wing, Alex Newhook out here. A lot of strong players in their top nine. The defense is struggling. I'll admit that. Corey Layton's their one guy, offensive defenseman at least. But goaltending wise, is Kachetkov at an 84, backed up by Jack Cogliano, who's a 79 overall. He will learn under the veteran. Kachetkov at an 84 has four and a half star reflexes, four and a half star puck control, and four star athletic. Still the 90 angles, 92 stick low, but stuff like glove high at an 81. Yikes! 83 speed, 81 durability. Hopefully he can keep it together with a strong offensive team in front of him, put together a solid year and another postseason berth. In year number 13, his first year outside of Carolina, Pyotr Kachetkov and the Calgary Flames finished 19th best in the NHL, just once again on the outside looking in. Kachetkov is once again part of a 40 plus win team as the Flames go 40, 34, and 8. Kachetkov had a ton of playing time this season as he appeared in 71 games and went 35, 25, and 7, and even tied his career high for shutouts in a season with 6 shutouts. He had a 914 save percentage and 2.76 goals against average, which might surprise you, but that's well above his career average. That 914 save percentage was also tied for third best amongst all goalies in the NHL who played 50 or more games. At the age of 35, going on 36, Kachetkov is 83 overall, listed as a starting goalie with starter potential. Headed back to unrestricted free agency. If he doesn't retire, I don't think he will. Four and a half star reflexes, four star puck control, three star athletic, 81 agility, durability, speed. The age is starting to catch up to him a little bit. The fundamentals are still very much there in the reflexes, but everything else starting to go downhill. We'll see what kind of contract he can find in the 2035 offseason. And by the way, if you want to see some more EA cheese, the Carolina Hurricanes won the 2035 Stanley Cup with an 89 overall goaltender who had horrible numbers. So unfortunate that the team couldn't come through for Chekhov more than one Stanley Cup because the team was definitely there in multiple seasons. But hey, it's Kachetkov got his ring. Just too bad that the Hurricanes have to win another one immediately after Kachetkov leaves.
In year number 14, Pyotr Kachetkov is back to the Eastern Conference as he signs a one-year deal with the Buffalo Sabres at the age of 36 and at 84 overall. One year, $4.075 million to come to one of the stronger teams in the East in recent years, but they're starting to go downhill a little bit. They had a lot of strong years with Uko Pekalukunin. They won back-to-back -back cups at the end of the 2020s, but now in 2035, their team, while they have Leo Carlson, 90 overall, Capo Caco, 85, defense Rasmus Dahlin after that, 72. 74's classic EA team. 84 overall Kachetkov is backed up by 82 overall Ricky Conley. So solid backup right there. Starting goalie role with fringe starter potential. So if he doesn't have a good season, that overall will continue to drop rather quickly. Four and a half star reflexes, four star puck control, three and a half star athletic now as age is catching up to him. As I've been saying, the fundamentals are still there. If the team around him can do well, then he will do well. But that defense does have me worried. In year number 14, the Buffalo Sabres finished 27th in the NHL, the worst team that Kachekov has ever been a part of, unfortunately, as they had a record of 36, 41, and 5. This difficult season for the Sabres was also reflected in Kachetkov's numbers as he appeared in 73 games, a career high for the 36-year-old, and he went 31, 34, and 5 with 4 shutouts, an 897 save percentage, and 3.16 goals against average. So although the season wasn't his lowest amount of career wins, it was the second worst season of his career for save percentage and goals against average. At the age of 36, Kachetkov is now an 83 overall and will likely continue to drop a bit more over the offseason. Can he be signed on as a starter once again would he be a backup to somebody else could he perhaps even retire and potentially move back to the khl much to be decided in the 2036 offseason as he now has four and a half star reflexes four star puck control and three and a half star athletic in year number 15, Pyotr Kachetkov signs a one-year deal with the Colorado Avalanche, paying him $1.435 million to be a backup for the first time in his career as when he jumped to the NHL in his rookie season, he was a starting goaltender right away. He's backing up 90 overall Alec Mink, an elite goalie with some 99s, 98s in his attributes. Very impressive right there. So a good veteran backup is Pyotr Kachetkov for the Avalanche. 80 overall, listed as a backup goalie with backup potential. Four-star reflexes, three-and-a-half star puck control, three-and-a-half star Athletic. His role has changed for his first time in his NHL career, especially coming off of a career-high 73 games played last season. So we'll see how Kachetkov does with the Avalanche. A stronger team than the Sabres, I would say. Maybe not as strong offensively. It's a good first line. Defense, it's... Uh, it's I'm going to leave it at that. And goaltending, like I said, Mink is the 90 overall who will hopefully carry. And Kachetkov will want to provide as much support as he can in what will be one of his final, if not his final, seasons in the league. Year number 15 was another bottom-feeding season as the Avalanche finished 28th in the league with a record of 34-42-6 as Kachetkov misses out on the postseason for the fourth consecutive year. In the backup role, Kachetkov appeared in 20 games and went 7-10-1 with one shutout. He had a 9-19 save percentage and 2.86 goals against average, so not bad at all. But once again, we can see that 90 overall goalies don't really necessarily mean great numbers here in EA land. At the age of 37, he is once again without a contract as he's been signing these one-year deals the last few years still an 80 overall listed as a backup goalie with backup potential so i could definitely see him sticking around the nhl for another season or two if he'd like but he may call it a career in 2037 and head back to the khl four star reflexes and three and a half puck control and athletic at this point not horrible numbers at all and you know what i'm glad that he had a solid enough season in the backup role but the question becomes now has he just had enough in year number 16, Pyotr Kachetkov is ready to run it back for what will likely be one last ride as he signs a one-year deal with the Pittsburgh Penguins to be their backup here in 2037-38. At 77 overall, he is a minor starting goalie in terms of his role with backup potential still there, so it could go up a little bit if he had a good enough season. One year, $865,000 for Pyotr Kachetkov. Three and a half star reflexes, three and a half star puck control, and three and a half star athletic. And, you know, angle, stick low, 86. Six, it's still up there, but his speed, his agility, his five hole all down to 80. Yeah, hopefully as with an 80 overall starter in Pittsburgh, he'll get more starts than he did last season. He still appeared in 20 games with Colorado, but as a 77 overall at 38 years of age, I'm not sure what we can expect of him. The team here in Pittsburgh is okay, a solid first line, and defensively, David Yerichek, this guy Edwin May, who's a two-way D, okay, all right, it's not a horrible team in Pittsburgh. So let's see if what will likely be Kachetkov's final season can be one in which he returns to the postseason. 
In year number 16, Kachetkov finally returns to the postseason as the Penguins finish 11th best in the NHL with 94 points and a record of 44, 32, and 6. However, upon further reflection, the Penguins sent Kachetkov down to the AHL after he went 2-5-0 in 9 appearances, an 897 save percentage and 3.47 goals against average. They got a better goalie, I suppose, at the trade deadline. He went to the AHL and in 13 games went 5-5-3, and one shutout, 888 save percentage and 2.95 goals against average. And with the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins, Kachetkov saw the team get swept out of round number one by Springfield. A tough way to end off what is likely his North American career. Uh, over in the NHL, by the way, the Penguins also fell in round number one, but in five games to the Panthers, who went on to lose in the Stanley Cup final to the Minnesota Wild. Kachetkov actually started all four of those postseason AHL games and went 0-2-2, so... Two tough losses in overtime, had an 889 save percentage and 2.86 goals against average. After this 16th year of the simulation, Kachetkov is 38, going on 39 years of age, a 77 overall. Attributes, they, they are what they are, 82 breakaway, 81 glove high, not the most serviceable of goaltenders. And as his overall will likely continue to drop, I'd be very surprised if any NHL team decided to give him a contract. Headed into year number 17, 2038-39, Pyotr Kachetkov is a 75 overall with AHL starter potential, listed as an a minor backup goalie, excuse me, not even a minor starter anymore. His attributes are down to three and a half reflexes, three star puck control, and three star athletic. A lot of his, some of his attributes moving into the 70s, and he is an unsigned free agent at the start of the season. With this being understood, it's the first time that it's happened in a career simulation. I will assume retirement from North American hockey. He would either move back overseas, find something in Europe, most likely in the KHL. And I would probably say we could confidently draw a veil over his NHL slash AHL career. So we'll just keep on simulating until we get to actual retirement from the game of hockey. And after one year abroad, Pyotr Kachetkov does indeed call it a career in the 2038 offseason, retiring after 889 games played in the NHL with 445 wins, 329 losses, 77 overtime or shootout losses, 52 shutouts, a 906 save percentage, and 2.88 goals against average. Now, as I've been saying throughout the simulation, we want to look more at the numbers like wins and shutouts and championships, stuff like that, versus save percentage goals against average, because in EA land, we're never going to get good numbers. Hart, Ottinger, even Vasilevsky, Shesterkin, I saw when they retired, like barely getting above 900 save percentages, so don't worry about that too, too much. In his NHL career, after being drafted back in 2019 by the Hurricanes, he played with the organization, starting with the three games in 2021-22, all the way until the end of 2034. After that, he went to Calgary, Buffalo, Colorado, and that one year in Pittsburgh where he split time in the AHL. One Stanley Cup ring with the Carolina Hurricanes and no honors aside from that. A lot of first round exits, one second round exit, one third round exit, and then one Stanley Cup. But aside from that, a lot of first round exits. He goes out with over 23,300 saves made, over 25,000 shots against, 2,425 goals against and over 50,400 minutes played. No penalty minutes, which is actually pretty impressive. No goals, understandably, and 15 assists throughout his 889 games. Looking at some of his best seasons, it was difficult to find good statistical seasons. His best goals against average season as a full-time starter would have come in 2024-25 when he had a 2.55 goals against. And I believe that was also his best save percentage season at a 916. Is that correct? Uh, yes, I would say that as a backup in Colorado he had a 919 but 2024-25 was probably his best season that ended up being a first round exit the year in which he won the Stanley Cup which was 2029-30 his numbers weren't amazing 908 save percentage 2.86 goals against but in his postseason career he played 89 NHL postseason games going 38 40 and 6 tough record seven shutouts though 907 save percentage 2.89 goals against ended up making 2425 saves on 2600 173 shots, 248 goals against with 5,147 minutes played, two penalty minutes as one minor penalty in his career came in the postseason, no points in the postseason either. As I always like to do in these career simulations, I want to take the numbers that Kachetkov 
put up in 2028 and compare them to the records in today's NHL in 2023. Obviously, a lot of other goalies like Vasilevsky, Shesterkin, we saw Hart, Ottinger, are going to end up with more wins than Kachetkov. But as of today, just to kind of give you an idea of where he'd be all time, 889 games played as a goaltender would currently put him ninth all-time in NHL history, behind Glenn Hall and ahead of Henrik Lundqvist. His 445 wins would tie him for eighth all-time with Terry Sawchuk, behind Curtis Joseph and ahead of Jacques Plante. His 52 shutouts in his career would currently tie him for 20th all-time with Tuka Rask and with Yaroslav Halak. And his total all-time minutes in the NHL of around 50,400 some would likely have him around 11th all-time, putting him just around John Van Beesbrook. So thus concludes the career of Pyotr Kachetkov, a goaltender who's been playing hockey since the 2018-19 season in the KHL. And in this simulation, if you count that last year being back to the KHL, all the way till 2039. In the NHL, his first appearance coming in 2021-22, playing all the way until 2037-38. And in that time, as you can see with all these numbers on this page, he did a lot in the NHL. Unfortunately, in EA land, as we've been saying, the numbers are never that great. But think about the wins, the shutouts, the all-time placement, stuff like that. He starts off his career in the AHL with the Chicago Wolves. Wins a Calder Cup with them, going 39, 20, and 3 in his 63 games with them. Some good postseason numbers as well. Before he makes the jump to the NHL, starting as the full-time starter in his first rookie season with the team. Appearing in 713 games with the Hurricanes across 11 seasons going 367 255 and 64 he had 41 shutouts a career 905 save percentage with the hurricanes and a 2.73 goals against average in the postseason he appeared in 89 games going 38 40 and 6 a difficult losing record but he did have seven shutouts a 907 save percentage 2.89 goals against average and one stanley cup championship Interesting to note that about 18% of his wins in the postseason were by shutout, while about 11% of his wins in the NHL were by shutout. So he showed up in the postseason just that, I don't know, the team never had depth, those weird seasons where no one was scoring, stuff like that. After those years in Carolina, he moves on to the Calgary Flames, appears in 71 games, wins 35. No postseason there, so he goes to Buffalo, appears in a career-high 73 games, wins 31 games, no postseason again. Moves on to the backup role in Colorado, appears in 20 games. Games, wins seven once again no postseason ends his last season with the Pittsburgh Penguins only appearing in nine games before ending up in the AHL where he did get to the postseason but went 0-2-2 and, and lost in the first round his career ends aside from the Calder Cup and Stanley Cup championships he does hold Hurricanes franchise records for most appearances by a goalie in franchise history at 713 and, and most of these records breaking what was previously held by Cam Ward most wins all time at 367 most losses all time understandably at 255 and most shutouts all time at 41 all those records beating out cam ward he also had the most single season wins all time at 40 in a single year there are many other records like shots against saves made stuff like that that i didn't really dive into but those are the big ones most games appeared in wins losses shutouts and single season wins when it's all said and done, adding up Kachetkov's small sample size of real-world numbers plus all of his simulated numbers with the Hurricanes, Flames, Sabres, Avalanche, and Penguins, Kachetkov appeared in 889 regular season games, going 445, 329, and 77. He had 52 shutouts, which gave him about an 11.7% shutout rate in his victories, a 906 save percentage, and 2.88 goals against average. Kachetkov ended off with not as much money as we usually see in these career simulations as he only put together 68.845 million dollars goalies don't get paid as much we saw in the simulation how i don't know if i'll be doing another goalie one anytime soon because if you're a hurricanes fan this one probably frustrated you a little bit but it was fun to make nonetheless in my opinion i think kachetkov will be in the conversation for some vezinas jennings and he'll have deeper postseason runs in his career but here in ea land where teams are not managed very well and where goalies cannot simulate well either it's tough to really find accurate results more for fun than anything so i hope that you did enjoy it and have fun leave a like if you did leave a comment with what you thought about this simulation as i'd say it's probably the most unrealistic one that we've done so far but if you want to see some other ones and honestly some pretty realistic ones in the past be sure to check out the playlist at the end of this video from nhl 20 to 23 most recently connor bedard maddie veneers in 22 we had a ton of prospects slavkovsky cooley nemich and many many more so if you haven't checked that out already be sure to take a look around the channel subscribe if you haven't already for more franchise mode career simulations breaking news and analysis in the real world of hockey, hockey card content, and much, much more going on here on the channel. So we'd love to have you join in.
Pyotr Kachetkov is a very exciting prospect with a very bright future ahead of him, so I look forward to seeing it, and I thank you for taking the time to enjoy the simulation, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one.